Hey guys, this is Jim. Uh, I'm do a quick review of uh, some Davidoff Scottish mixture. It says delicate Scottish blend. Whatever. <laughs> On tobacco reviews, it says uh, it's blended by Orlick. Oh, okay. Um, a light medium cut mixture blend of Virginia, Burley, Kentucky, and Oriental tobaccos with a touch of rare Scotch whiskey. And I think this is delicious. This could this could easily be an all day smoke. Easily. I'm getting that great burly flavor. Not quite sure. If I can taste the Oriental. But I'm getting the Virginia and the Burley. The sweet Virginia, the rich, bready, buttery Burley. You smoke it right, there's no bite. Lightly sweet. Like, like good scotch. Imagine, in, you know, like, like sipping Glenlivet. I might have to get some Glenlivet to go with this. I drank all of mine. Oh, yeah. This is great. I can understand why it has three stars on uh, tobacco reviews, but it's not, it's not, uh, that Scottish mixture. I've got some Samuel Gay with Scotch cut mixture. This is a lot, a lot more. Uh, it's probably the lot of Kia that I'm tasting in this, in this stuff. The Samuel Gay with. Apparently, this Davidoff Scottish mixture doesn't have any lot of Kia in it, or Latakia. I've heard a million and one different pronunciations. Well, no, maybe three, but Latakia, I guess, is how it's pronounced correctly. Apparently somebody in one of the forums is native to the area and he says, no, it's, everyone says Latakia, and he says, no, it's Latakia. So anyway, this doesn't have any Latakia in it. It's uh, Burleys, Virginias, Kentuckys, Orientals, and, and, and then Scotch, which is never a bad thing to add to most anything. Hell, I'd eat Jello if they had Scotch flavored Jello. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Not too sweet, no bitterness to speak of. Sweet light smoke. It disperses, it doesn't disperse. It's not like when you smoke in most English blends, like, uh, say you're smoking some squadron leader and you start puffing on that, and I mean, it's just volumes of white smoke. And then you smoke a, like, a, like one Q, like Cavendish. And it just, you're puffing and it just disappears in, almost instantly. It hits the air and just kind of dissipates, where the English blends, the smoke's a little bit more sturdy. This is kind of in between. Hmm. Still tackling this, but uh, I just got it. And I didn't have to air it out to smoke it in my cob. Figured I'd try a bowl to see if it stayed lit, and it's staying lit perfectly. Beautiful. One light. That's amazing. I like it. Simple, no, no overt thrills, no over, no overt uh, frills. I mean, I 
I know this is technically an aromatic, I guess, because it's flavored with the with the Scotch whiskey. But uh, yeah, the Davidoff Scottish mixture. I overpaid for this actually, but I wanted to try it, and uh, I had the money in my pocket. But 50, 50 grams for sixteen dollars, yeah, it was fourteen ninety nine with tax. But I went to a little local smoke shop down the way. It's run by a little Asian family. And they mostly have cigars. And they've got some like Super Value and uh, Captain Black and stuff like that. I don't want Captain Black. I, told you. I want some W.O. Larson. I want some Larson Old Fashioned. I want some McBaron Club Blend. Uh, Navy Flake. Stuff like that. And the lady said, well, I'm going to go do my buying now. so Or tomorrow. So I'll see if they have it. If they have it, I'll get you some. And I said, well, I don't want too much of a markup because I just paid $15, $16 for a 50-gram can of this Scottish mixture. Shouldn't have cost that much. Mm. Mm. Let me see how much it would have cost from Mars. Yeah, Mars has it for twelve sixty. I just paid an extra twenty five percent on top of what I would have gotten it from Mars, even with shipping. But I buy a bunch of stuff usually. I can buy it for twelve bucks online and buy sixteen dollars down the down the road at some tobacco place. That's crazy. Twenty five percent markup above what I'm gonna pay. Or, I'm sorry, a 30% markup above what I'm going to pay. Ridiculous. So, anyway, definitely try this Davidoff Scotch mixture. It's not as strong as some of the Scotch mi mixtures you might have had.